Good morning, it's Sunday, February 22, 2024. This is Tuaran Morning News. I'm Borman Sivaraman. Here's your morning news update. Do you know that Malaysia is ranked third in the list of countries contributing most to marine plastic pollution? When we think of plastic waste, we tend to think of plastic bottles and bags. But once these everyday items break down, they cause a more insidious threat to the environment, microplastic. Microplastics are microscopic pieces of plastic that are often visible to the naked eye. Scientists are only just beginning to understand the impacts of microplastics on human health. There is a mounting evidence that it causes respiratory problems and inflammatory bowel disease. With the presence of microplastics installed for the past four years, the research team from the University of Nottingham, Malaysia has been looking at microplastics in the Langa River in Selangor as well as in the bodies of animals that live in the river. The findings are very concerning. They have found microplastic particles in every one of the hundreds of river water samples they have collected. Most alarmingly, they have found microplastic in the body of almost every single animal they collected. Fish were the most highly contaminated. This is very worrying as it means that people who consume fish caught from our rivers are likely to be routinely ingesting microplastic. The same applies to fish caught from oceans, where microplastic contamination is also very high. The human health risk posed by microplastics mean that urgent action is needed. However, it is extremely challenging to reduce exposure to microplastic as it is already in the air we breathe and the water we drink and very likely in much of the food we eat. Using filters on tap water, avoiding eating hot food or drinking hot drinks from plastic containers and avoiding eating bottom feeders like shellfish and prawns are all good places to start. Removing the microplastics already present in the environment will be difficult. Individually, we should be mindful of how much plastic we use and especially how we dispose of it. Simple measures such as bringing our own stainless steel containers to pack food bought from food stalls and using glass or metal bottles to refill instead of buying water. water. Go a long way in reducing the amount of single-use plastics that may end up in the environment while the public should be encouraged and empowered to adopt recycling habits. This needs to be supported by better waste management facilities and recycling options being made available by local councils. Taxes or other fiscal incentives could be introduced to help reduce plastic use and increase the use of recyclable plastics. Government funding for research to help new find new ways of removing plastics and microplastics from our marine and freshwater ecosystems. And to help develop new biogradable plastics is greatly needed. Time is ticking. The attitudes and behaviors of everyone from the authorities and industry to the public at large need to change for the sake of both current and future generation. That's to our morning news. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day today.